Jay, so James, we're pretty, we're actually this is video, not pictures. That's right. So why don't you explain what type of equipment that oh, is? Oh, this is an Epson 9900. We bought this because it had the biggest color range we could find. Uh, Resolution-wise, a lot of these printers have um, are comparable to each other, but we found that, um, and we originally bought it because we were farming out printing ourselves, and we just didn't like the results we were getting from all the little places all over the the country that did you know overnight printing. That's big. How big can you go with that? This is a 44 inch width, so the biggest like inch and a half stretched canvas would be 39 inches by. Eight feet, I think, is the biggest one we've done, but wow. we can go more than eight feet. That's big. Um, and this is looking good. And what else is? It's got eleven inks. A couple of the inks that I find really interesting about this is the that are new to our industry is an orange ink. And you know how like TVs have RGB yep. color space. It's different than like most printers, which have you know like the old school printers had CMYK or cyan, magenta, yellow, black. This combines both those color universes. So we're able to get colors and oranges and so forth that are much, much more than what people could get without this printer. Very uh, excited. And it's really been a, a kind of a, a difficulty over the years for me is oranges, reds, um, the real royal blues. Yeah. Oddly enough, we Around here, that's ink. important. Yeah, right. You know, the, the boats and the skies, have, yeah, right, the kind right, of light that we have. Now, right. can we, let's talk a little bit about business and your use of social media because you guys are on Twitter. Are you on Facebook as well? Yeah, oh, yeah. Facebook, uh, Twitter, LinkedIn. Um, where else are we? Uh, we're going to be blogging. We're blo we will oh, be blogging. We're on our website something. giving out information for right. people. Yeah, um, yeah that, that part's in development, the classes and the instructional part. Right now, the instructional part is just what you would just experience, where somebody who's you know doing photography and dealing with post, you know, part of what we have to offer is you have access to a guy that's been doing post in photography for thirty years. What you knew, so, what you did in the course of like you know forty-five minutes while we were sitting down together, like would have taken me. Oh, I did. I wouldn't have known at all how to do it. First of all, right. but like you know, it, for me to figure it out would have been weeks. Right. So you know what I mean. So and, and that makes sense for us to offer that. You know, we have the printer, but it, that's what, one of the things that separates us from just about any other printer out there is, yeah. is the skill level to, to quickly look at an image and evaluate it. And there's two things that you can do. One is I'm going to move your image anyway because I'm going to adjust what you give me so that my printer gives you everything possible that it can give you based on what you give me. Right. And then there's a secondary thing where it's more of a creative process where, you know, a lot of our photographers... Those purples are great. The results. Da, da, da. What else? But uh, as far as... do you, So we touched on where you are on, on, on social networking, but do you find you, you pick up business through that? Well, oh. you, do, you obviously pick up business... Like you, you spoke to me like we posted your stuff and within a couple of days you had five new customers. Well, we're, we're kind of an interesting case study when it comes to marketing because we've done no printing. We've done no print advertising. We haven't gotten around to our brochure yet. Mm -hmm. yep. You know, we've printed out price sheets because that's the information that our customers actually need from us. Right. You know, brochures tend to have all the other fluff like, hey, look how neat, we're great. Yeah. Um, we've done really no conventional marketing. Nothing All through the, newspapers. No print. No newspaper no. ads. No. How about the yellow pages? No yellow. Well, I'm never doing yellow pages. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, I've done yellow pages here. We don't. We don't take out the ads on the little calendars from the Rotary Club right. or whatever. Yeah. We just. All of our marketing has been social media: Twitter, yeah. Facebook, um, and 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 Good Morning Gloucester. Obviously. There you go. Yeah. Uh, actually, Good Morning Gloucester probably gave us the biggest. You know, jump start of any business ever because we came in, we discovered you, and we just started playing with you. Yeah. And um, I think who was it? Who was the young girl that? Alicia. Alicia, Alicia. Pensarosa. Yeah, yeah, she Alicia came, came in, in yeah. and she and she wanted you know and she did a little piece on us. Yeah. And then the next week we were slammed. Yeah. So it was really love really it. Good. So oh, I love to hear that. Just, you know, the that's, best ever for us. Well, Especially great. here locally, I think it's there's a big social media. Yeah, and I, t I try honestly. I try to foster that. You know yeah, what I mean? It's like well, always, you do. every day on the blog, I'm like, okay, check out this Twitter list. This is all the retailers, and then this right. is all the restaurants. Yeah. And, and I try to encourage those people to keep on. You know, don't get obnoxious, 
But like, you know, here and there, show your personality. Let it, let it, and support each other. Like, exactly. We retweet if somebody's having like a special at their business or something. We exactly. retweet it. Gloucester Joe's came on. Yeah. You know, we, we friended them on Twitter and retweeted their stuff. I mean, yeah. that's how it works. Absolutely. And it's, there's a very active uh, local community on Twitter. And it's a lot of fun. It is. It's a lot because you get to find out what other people are doing. Yeah. You tell them what you're doing and you interact. And then the arts community too locally is very active. They're, They're very yeah. um, uh, social media savvy. So, and it's just a lot of fun because you get to know people and like, you know, yeah. everybody's doing some really cool things. Well, this is here. the first time we've actually met. But exactly. like we've been going back and forth <laughs> on Twitter right. and stuff for like months now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is awesome. Wow, this, oh my God, this is going to be something. Yeah, it's, it's coming out of the, people can't see yet, but they're going to see. Yeah, it soon. really looks good. I'm seeing actually the course of the, the corner that has a lot of the interest in it is coming out last year. You know, that boat in the foreground. But this stuff is looking really good. Those colors are just so unique, you know? Wow. You have a night sky with those really golden lights, and what that does is amazing to me. I'm excited.